Okay, so um, it's eight ten, so I believe we can actually kick start um, this webinar and uh, in kick starting this. So I have a few things that I want to share tonight. Um, all right, let's go in, uh, like I've mentioned. So um, I'm going to be sharing just a little bit of my experience and um, my journey so far as far as tech is concerned. So how did I get here uh, at the moment? So my name is Ulua Shegun Kolawali. So uh, I just need a confirmation from everybody to know that you are actually um, hearing me clear and loud enough. Please um, confirm this once again before I move. Just confirm on, uh, in the comment section that you can hear me clearly, so I can just proceed with the uh, proceed with what we are here for. Please confirm once again from your end. I want someone to just confirm that. Can you? Okay, loud and clear. Yeah, thank you. So um, let's move uh, as far as this webinar is concerned. Yes, we're struggling with some internet connection over there. Okay, so my name is Uluwaje Nkola Wale. I'm a tech career coach and also a product manager. So over the years, I've worked with uh, brands that, yeah, you might uh, actually be able to imagine and some that you may not be able to imagine. The likes of MTN, the likes of Etel, uh, NIMSI, Nigeria Identity Management Commission. I've worked uh, as well, World Bank, and also Nigerian Judiciary, and several other projects that you may think of as well. And uh, over um, the last five years, I've been able to impact people both in Nigeria and outside of Nigeria, across four African countries, as well as 16 African, uh, 16. Um, 16 Nigerian states to say uh, precisely, 16 Nigeria state, state. And in doing this over the years, I've been able to see what is necessary. The tech space have helped so many people to come up in the tech space, have helped them to start a career. So when I say kick starting a career, there are many people who have been a uh, have been outside of tech before, uh doing maybe kind of jobs that they are really struggling and battling with, all right. But by some of the help that I've been able to render to some people um, so far in the tech space, some of them have been able to get into tech. And I can tell you today that they are really, they're really doing well. So, and also on the other side, um, being a product manager, I have been able to um, work with some of the brands that I have mentioned um, to you early in. So one of the things you should expect from the end of this webinar is that if you are at a confused state at the moment, maybe you want to start a tech career, by the time you are done with this webinar, the first thing that you will know is that I think this is what is necessary for me as far as tech is concerned. You will be able to know what matters in tech, how to convert your personal self to results. I will tell you something tonight is that a lot of people are actually talking about the hardship that many people face in the country at the moment. I'm using Nigeria as the major case study because I know I have a large audience from Nigeria here. And um, the interesting thing I will share with you in this webinar is that no matter how worse or how bad it gets, some people in Nigeria will continue to get richer. Now, this is not just uh, a mouth to mouth say. I'm going to be showing you evidences. I'm going to be showing you the things he said if you keep or all right if you keep explaining things if you do not have enough evidence you will keep explaining and i'll tell you that we are not here to just come and tell you um this is this this is that and you cannot even see important or tangible evidence to what we are saying as a matter of fact while i was starting out in tech it is all about i just wanted to learn something i just wanted my life to be better in terms of okay uh just get into tech, do what others are not doing, all right? And also see other people do it. Whilst people were inspiring me, some things were also inspiring me, which was, was like, oh, there's a lot of money in tech, there's a lot of money in tech. And is it true that there's a lot, there's a lot of money in tech? I, I can't lie to you about that. There is a lot of money. Many of you, this is not, many of you even know that there's a lot of money, which is probably why you actually clicked on the link when you saw the webinar coming up. So, which is um, nobody, there's no one here really that does not know that there is opportunity and there's a lot of money 
as far as tech is concerned. Then what has been the major problem? Many of you have picked up tech career. You've picked up programming languages in the past and you just seen that it's not working. So why is it not working? Is it because you're not good enough or is it because you can't learn well enough? We have, to, we, have, we have just not been able to picture exactly why you've not been able to do this. As a matter of fact, today I'm going to be showing you why some people don't actually um, get that desired result that they want to, you know, um, why they don't get the exact result that they're supposed to get. And also I'm going to be showing you why some people are actually getting those results. I'm going to be showing you what I did and things that I did along the line. So um, just look a little about, uh, a, a little, I want to show you something very, very, very profound here. So now this is just a picture of myself um, a few years ago, and this is not even any of my recent picture. I just had to like put one of these things together, which is uh, this person today at a point in their life when only the only thing they could see was a bright future, not even the money back. I had that time in my life whereby the only thing I knew I, would, I, I was seeing was just a bright future. And when we say bright future, in the now, when they ask you how much is in your account, you really can't say this is the amount in my account. But then you say, I have dreams, I have potential. Trust me, potential and dreams, they don't pay more, they don't pay anything. Potential, money, passion, they actually don't pay you. It doesn't, it doesn't pay your house rent. So if you want anything to inspire you at all, even if you say you have anything, do you have that money back? So what, what exactly is the bridge between here and there? So when I say here, I mean where you are at the moment and that place you really want to be. It is taking the right um, decision at the right time with the right set of people. So I'll go, I'll go again, taking the right step at the right time with the right set of people. So there is a part of what you need to do, who you need to do it with, and, uh, and where or how you should be doing uh, the things you're doing. So... In the early days of my career, all I just wanted to do was I want to learn how to code. I wanted to do some. So which means I started more as a software engineer. But today I'm a product manager. So which is I just wanted to pick up a tech career that because I know that there is money in tech, but I just wanted to get in. So what were the things that I have done so far? So let's just talk about one of the things that I did. Um, while starting my tech career, I met some mentors along the line. I learned a few things. Uh, I learned a few things about, you know, JavaScript and I got into web and after getting into web, I saw that, oh, there is a lot of opportunity that I know I can see as far as tech is concerned. I started seeing some of my friends. I mean, I'm talking far back as 2016, 17, no, 2016, really, 2015, 16, I was seeing some of my friends and they would tell me then that, oh, I'm earning 300k working with a company. As at that time, 300k Nigerian Naira, and that was even above thousand dollars as at that time oh I, i'm working with this company and they have they're they are paying me um three hundred fifty thousand. they're paying me four hundred thousand. and i was like wow why can't i be getting this kind of money but the truth here is i needed to do what they could do what is that global opportunity i mean what is that skill that they had that i did not have and that was the global skills or they were global assets these guys some of them were even students as at that time and they were earning a lot of money as at that time what were those things that they were doing right what did they get right and that was learning the right skill and positioning for the right set of things and i i, I just imagined it like oh wait so that means people have actually gotten into uh, this particular career. So it has nothing to do with, um, this is my background. I don't have money. I don't have this. It's all about what you can offer. Tech has really changed my own personal life. I would never have dreamt that I would ever be on air. In fact, I can tell you when I was really very young, all I was thinking about was that, who are these people? In fact, there was a time I even told my mom that only the rich people can actually enter the plane. And I don't think I can enter. I told my mom at the very tender age, but I can still remember. My mom said, no, that's not it. But I'm just saying all of that to tell you how naive and how myopic I was thinking. And today I can't tell you the number of times I have traveled, <laughs> the number of times I have actually been on air, the number of times I've actually been in different countries. But this is because I was able to what pick and know what is right for me to do at a particular point in time. And that was picking the right skill picking the right skill today i'm speaking and i'm talking to you uh because of uh 
the things, the sacrifice that I have paid at the early stage. In fact, as I speak to you uh, right now, I have taken um, courses from um, University of Cape Town, South Africa. Of course, you know, if I'm taking a course in dollars all the way from here, you know what we are talking about. We're not talking about 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000. As of, today, as of today. And uh, these are the opportunities that this has afforded me. I had my MBA from Boston um, USA Techidia Institute. And all these were things that I was able to do at a very, let me say, from a convenient um, spot because I have been able to invest in the right skill set at the early time. Today, I will tell you how recruiters reach out to me. A lot of people say there are no jobs, there are no jobs, there are no jobs. But people are still doing all they could. They are still reaching out to me day in day out. Is it on LinkedIn? Is it my email? And I'm going to be showing you some of these things, how recruiters actually come to you. The question is, even if people are looking out for you, if they're looking out for the best programmer, would you show up? If they type the best product designer, would you show up? If they type the best business analyst, would you show up? So now, when you go on the internet or they go on LinkedIn, do you have that skill set that you are ready to market on the global market? And when I'm saying the global market, we're not just talking about um, Nigeria as a whole. I mean the global market. For today, I work with uh, a, a company in Poland, which is TME Education. And uh, today, working with them, uh, I would never have been able to work with them if I did not equip myself with the right skill sets. If I do not equip, I mean, if I had not equipped myself with the right skill set, so which is why I'm placing the emphasis on the right skill set, the right skill set. If you have the right skill set, you have done just one thing, three things that is necessary. The three things are the things I'm mentioning to you today. Number one is the right skill set. How do you get this right skill set? I'm going to still go deeper into this. The second thing I'm going to be talking to you about is after getting this right skill set, you need to now put yourself out there. You need to have evidence for, uh, okay, I know how to do this and that, but what's the evidence that you know how to do it? That's where it comes, uh, the, the part of portfolio. That's why people will say, hello, we saw your work online and would like you to join our high-performing high team of software engineers, of product managers, of this and that. That's why they will come to you to do that. And the third thing I'm going to be sharing is your personal branding. So when you take your personal brand, if you go online and type my name, you will see my name and everything around me. So in one word, you can describe who I am. You can employ me if you want to employ me as a product manager. And I speak to you today, there are jobs, job offers that I have literally declined because they did not match my kind of interest. And also I've been able to decline or to accept as well. Okay, um, you're looking for this person. Okay, I'm available for this um, position. Let me just show you a little bit of... Uh, this is um talking about so now this is someone from Spenium. this you know this company is actually not in uh, not a nigerian company so i have been shortlisted and advanced uh to the phone interview stage of the recruitment process the position description can be found here the purpose of this interview is to get to know you better and um to my open surprise when i tell you what this job is really all about now you're seeing uh, so i'm going to be sharing you what this job is all about as selling you so now, um, these people are ready to pay me as much as $56,500 annually. And when you convert this into Nigeria Naira annually, when you calculate 56 million, this is 5 million Naira annually, plus other benefits and bonus. I'm not going deep into this. This is not why we are here. I'm just you need to have something you are selling. You need to have that value you are selling. So based on your qualification, I would like to invite you to do for an interview with the regional manager. Please reply to this email. This is another company, and these companies are actually not Nigerian companies. So they are not Nigerian companies at all. So I'll still go into other ones. Um, yeah, I still have another one here job analyst as product management analyst so now i'm a recruiter blah 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 and all of this let's leave that part now this is this pay rate is 35.25 which is 35 dollars per hour so when you calculate 
five dollars per hour if you calculate this in terms of 40 hours you know what this is going to mean i mean per hour somebody is paying you thirty thousand per day 30 times eight hours that's two hundred and forty thousand naira per day this times 10 is 2.4 million times 30 when you calculate this you are earning close to six to seven million naira from the comfort of your home this is just to give you a tip of the kind of things that will come to your people if you do not have this right skill set now look at another person this is that one i do only reaching out to me from linkedin i have so many of them but i can't just show you all of them because on, on, on uh, because of our time trust you're keeping well you have a fairly decent profile and i would like you to join my high performing team of project managers solution architect and business analyst if interested please send your resume there are a lot of these people that keep reaching out to me every day, day in, day out. But then I choose the one I want to be with. In this current economy where people are saying dollar is high and all of this, things, trust me, I with, 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 with all sense of humility, I will tell you that even if dollar is getting higher, I, I don't think I have any problem with it. I will have problem with it because I will just think probably like, wow, in the country because of this but in the real sense I, i'm not sure i am actually suffering as far as this because even if i earn as low as one thousand dollars which is possible if you work with foreign companies even if it is one thousand dollars you are earning trust me you are a millionaire even if it is one thousand dollars you are earning of course, you know one thousand uh, dollar is now nine hundred and I, I exchanged a few days ago. Dollar is nine hundred and ninety-five naira, and if you don't want to deceive yourself, you know that is exactly one thousand naira. And we have <laughs> we have one thousand. I mean, we have one that is chasing uh, a thousand. One naira. I mean, one one dollar is already one one thousand naira. So where we are going, we don't know. But then. Can you put yourself at an advantageous spot whereby even if it is increasing, it is none of your business. Whatever that wants to happen, this is one of the ways in which you can help your loved ones. I know that even in this hardship, even if you put out your money and say, I want to send it to my uh, relative, you want to just want to send a hundred thousand naira to your relative. That is just hundred dollars. Probably you are any three thousand dollars up to five thousand dollars if you send hundred dollars to somebody i don't think that is too much and do you know how people are going to appreciate this so where i'm going here is that if you do not have that right skill set if you don't have that right skill set that will help you to put yourself in such an advantageous position you will keep being in that situation how can you convert the situation of nigeria how can you convert it into an advantage to yourself you can say oh I've tried to enter tech, but it seems um, the problem has been I don't understand how to enter. Um, there have been this. Now, even if you have uh, a career or even if you have a nine to five job, I do not think that is still supposed to be a problem in this current century or this current dispensation. Even if you run a nine to five job, you know that. Okay, now let me tell you something about GSK. So GSK is a company that was operating in Nigeria before. As I speak to you, GSK left Nigeria. You should tell me, or you should, you should be asking me right now, where are their workers? All the people that were working with GSK, where are they today? Many of them have lost their job. Why did they lose their job? Because the company moved. And what was their resolution? They said, or what was their reason for moving? They said, Nigeria is no longer a good place to do business. Now, when you say Nigeria is no longer a good place to do business, you know that that is a lot of problem. You surely know that is a lot of problem. Nigeria is not a good place to do business, which means more companies are quitting. Companies are downsizing day in, day out. But how is this a major problem? It is a major problem because unemployment is increasing. Now it is now the question of what's next or who is next that we are asking about. A company that had up to 10 people now is planning to, you know, optimize their process. And in optimizing their process, they want to employ two people and eight computers. I hope you understand what I am saying. You employ two people and eight computers, which means you are now a job that 10 people are supposed to do. They automated this, the process so that eight people 
can just, I mean, two, two people will be, the set of people they will be paying and they will only pay for their software and that will be all. Now, how many people will lose their job in that process? Eight people. Now, the job of eight people that were lost, so which means there has been a form of diversification. Diversification. The job that was supposed to be in oil and gas has been diverted into tech. But you don't have a tech skill. You don't have the tech skill that will help you move forward into this particular, uh, into the trend. They said, technology has not come to replace man, but it has come to replace the people that have failed not to adapt. They said, the, the way to learn in this current century is to unlearn, learn, and what? Relearn. And if you are not unlearning, relearning, and um, if you're not learning, relearning, and unlearning, you are not going to be part of the people that we are talking about the future of work. What exactly is the future of work? You have hearing future of work, future of work. It's not like everybody will just uh, will just have computers and robots working. No, the future of work is actually we are still humans that are still going to be working in the future, but humans with different skill sets, not the kind of skill set that we have. You know your friends or your your relatives that have been working in the bank in the past and these people were working in the bank and we saw them as oh these are the rich people the accountants they are lawyers doctors and the rich people tell me how many doctor earns up to five million naira monthly tell me how many lawyers earn up to five million naira monthly <laughs> but i can tell you a lot of tech people earning up to this amount monthly and you will never know in fact, some of them don't even drive cars intentionally. Ending up to five million naira, and when I'm saying five million naira, that's five thousand dollars. We have a whole lot of them. In fact, foreign companies are intentionally bringing jobs into Africa because they want to pay people less. And you know, they feel they are paying you as a senior software engineer. They are paying you less, five thousand dollars, because the average amount is supposed to be twelve thousand dollars to fifteen thousand dollars. But then, do you really have a problem with that? If you have somebody paying you $5,000, which is 5 million naira, I think you will live the best of the kind of life that you think you want to live at this moment of your life. You will keep wishing and wishing to say, oh, I want to enter tech. I want to enter tech. Ah, this hardship is too much. I I'm sorry to say this. I don't know the last time that I actually mentioned that. Oh, Nigeria is hard. Nigeria is hard. You know, each time I see dollar rising, I go ahead to calculate my salary. Each time I see dollar rising, so it's more like it's a blessing for me. I wouldn't be selfish to just keep this to myself alone, all right? Which is why I'm still pushing. Put yourself at the spot or at the position whereby you can offer value to global companies. No matter how much you are earning, if you were earning 300,000 naira in Nigeria before, and I'm sure you understand right now, if you have a car, you're in trouble. If you enter the thousand naira, if you have a car, you're in trouble. If I am to say the amount I spend on fueling monthly, in fact, let me not bother to say that, because you know how much fuel costs at the moment. So, which means the economy and things have changed. If you earn five hundred thousand dollars before, before the fuel increased, and as at this time that fuel has increased, we have people that are spending over a hundred thousand, one fifty thousand on fuel daily. It even depends on the type of car you drive. It depends on the type of car you drive. So this is not a, a way of, you can never manage this kind of economy. The only thing you can do is to be ahead of the economy. Even if the economy wants
Yeah, please confirm that you can hear me. Okay. Yeah, just drop it in the comment section. If you hear me. You must have those um, skills. So now let's. I've tried as much as possible to get you ready for this. So what are these skills we are talking about? There are no code skills and there are coding skills. Now let me explain what are no code skills. So when we say coding skills, we mean software engineering. And I can I can tell you for sure, if you are running a nine to five job or you have a very busy schedule, trust me, you really cannot go into uh, coding skills because of time. It's more time to learn coding skills, and it's not something you can learn on the go. You can't use your break time to learn it. You can you need to be on your on your ID or your software to be doing all of this. So if you are running a very busy schedule, you might want to go into a no code career. And we have lots of no code career that you can think of. We have the likes of cybersecurity, we have product design, we have product management, we have product researcher, we have business analysis. We have um, client accounts management. We have project management. We have um, quality assurance. We have um, Scrum Master. We have quite a number of, of this career paths that we're talking about. So if you are still part of the people complaining about Nigeria is bad, Nigeria is this, Nigeria is that, I'm not sure you should stay to the end of this webinar. Because at this point, you should be making important decision of your life. Oh. I think I want to go into this part of tech. I think I want to do this. And I'm going to be giving us um, enough time to ask questions, um, what we think, and the parts that we think we can go into. So let me go back into that. I was talking about no code career. So no code career, I will, I've given you quite a number of, uh, of, 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 of the example. Please confirm that you can hear me um, from the comment session. OK, so I because I got a message there, so I need to be sure if it was, it's not from my end. So as I was saying, uh, I mentioned that you can go into product management. So when we say product management, we all have seen mobile apps like Facebook, Amazon application. We've seen Jumia application. We've seen uh, WhatsApp. We've seen Telegram. We've seen Twitter. Oh, uh, sorry, X app. We've seen um, Instagram and several other apps that you can imagine. And each and every of these apps we are talking about, I mean, each and every of these apps that we are talking about have one or two things in common. They all have product managers. When we say they all have product managers, it means they have the person that is in charge of their affairs. Trust me, if you have an entrepreneurship mindset that is you love business, you love leading people, trust me, something like product management is for you because this is something that combines both leadership and management together. If you're someone who is drawn to leadership and management, you know you love to manage a lot of people. You know you, you love, uh, if you have been in a position whereby you have managed people in the past or you've been a natural leader. When I say natural leader, which means you love achieving goals. You love pushing people to achieve a common goal. Product management might be for you. And you'll be asking or wondering, do I need to have any higher knowledge in tech to become? No. The only prerequisite to this is that the only prerequisite to this is that you need to uh you need to pay attention to what you are learning so when i say pay attention to what you're learning give it your best that's all it needs don't forget i can be talking about product management today i can be talking about product design or any skill related to tech today it's because of my years of experience it's because i have taken time to learn things in the tech space, and which is why I can do what I'm doing today. So which is every journey or every successful person has what uh, a journey. So when I say a journey, where the person started from and where the person is at the moment. So it is not a thing of, uh, I just got into it by accident overnight success, no. So you need to know that you don't have to have prior knowledge of coding. It's not important. In fact, it's not compulsory you have it. You don't need to even know how to code. That's one. Number two, you might be wondering, product management. Do I need to have high-end system to come into product management? 
Or is it not people that have been doing things in tech for that internet? No. Product management is as good as you being able to use your brain to drive a goal, to achieve a goal. So WhatsApp as a product manager. And on WhatsApp, we have lots of product managers, hundreds of product managers that are on WhatsApp. One person can be in charge of WhatsApp status. So every feature that is connected to WhatsApp status is coming from that person's initiative. So a product manager is the person that is in charge of the success of an application or success of a product. That is a product manager. As a matter of fact, so the, uh, one of the apps I managed recently is the Nigerian Judiciary app. I managed this and uh, this is for filing cases and all. So I may not be able to go into details of all of this. And this, this was for a state government. And doing this for a state government, I was able to think about the features that we're supposed to have to make this application work effectively. And this is a state-sponsored project. So you can imagine what this kind of thing. So if I do not have such career, I mean, such skill set, I wouldn't be able to manage it. So it just involves you knowing little of so many things. You, you, you learn a little of product design, learn a little of um, terminologies in, pro, in, 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 in software engineering, just learn their terminologies, know how each thing connects to each other. And these things can be learned. So because it can be learned, it is nothing to worry about. So look at other features that they add on WhatsApp. The person in charge of the overall product is the principal product manager. So which means it's the best is a product manager. Any application that you have, that you have seen that has succeeded in the market, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, uh, Chrome, and some other things that you're saying, they all have product managers. They all have product managers. And that's one part of it. So if you know you are drawn to business, you love business, you love to sell people, you love to hear, uh, you love to manage people, product management is for you. On the other hand, we have uh, product, product manager or management. Please simplify. Okay, yeah. Um, A product manager is the person that is involved in product management. So product management is process, all right? The same way project management is. The person does. So I am a product manager. I manage Nigeria Identity Management Commission. The app you use to enroll people for NIN, I manage it. So managing such app, I have been a product manager. So which means the features that we add into such application a product manager is the one in charge of those features. You state the feature. Tomorrow, if you don't want WhatsApp to be able to WhatsApp to be able to delete a message, you can write the feature yourself. I don't want this to happen again. Then you give it to them. This is what I want for the next thing. But you must be business oriented. So when I say business oriented, don't forget it can be learned. So even if you don't know so much about business, you can learn business. Even if you don't know so much about all the things that we mentioned, you can always learn business. So, and that's that. Um, let me go into product design. So, product design is quite a very interesting career. This involves, um, if you know you love aesthetics, like you love things, that you love designing. There are people that have been into graphic design, and for a long time, your graphic design has not really earned you more than 10,000 hours on a go. Like, you've, you've designed flyers of just, you know, fly, you design basic flyers, flyers all the time. But you really need, you know, this big money. Yes, you need big money. Like, you want to earn so well. Product design is a very good career you should consider. Many, pro many, gra many product designers that we have today, many of them started from graphics design. Many of them love design interface. And that's what brought them into graphics design, into product, um, product design, rather. So a product designer, so for every application that you have seen out there, they all have product designer for every single application you have seen out there they all have product designer and who are these product designers all they need to do you don't need to know how to code all you need is your mouse and your computer and the knowledge of us so which can be learned there's none of this thing that i've mentioned today that cannot be learned because rome was not built in a day which means you can learn something at any point in time so far you are interested in that career path. So for a product designer, all you need to do 
is to just get yourself started out say get yourself ready like i want to become a product designer and this is what i want to learn so there are other career paths that you can um, consider but i'm just going to be mentioning this because this is the focus of this webinar if you want to become a product designer all it takes is for you to just be ready that i want to do this don't forget product design is a global skill there is no website there is no application that comes out today that is not uh that will not go through a product center as a matter of fact i'm working on a good google project right so working on the google project i was able to write my user stories and the features that we built into the app for the community now if i was not a product manager i can't get into such opportunity product management comes with lots of opportunities for you if you learn product management by default you are a business oriented person by default you are a business oriented person once you do it you can learn the skills around product management you become a business oriented person because there's a lot you will know around business and there's a lot you will know around technology and there's a lot you will know about coming up with ideas it will now come naturally with you it will come naturally with you so product management is one of the and it's a leadership role if you're a product manager you're going to be managing a lot of people I've managed 23 people in a team before. I've managed a team of 12. I've managed a team of 15. I've managed a team of 33. So far, that's the highest I've managed. But imagine you're doing that. And do you know the interesting thing about all these kind of roles? You can work from your house. In fact, one of the things that I would appreciate myself for is taking this decision early. Because I never knew foil was going to be expensive. I never knew a lot of things will happen at the very end, that dollar was going to go up, and that a lot of things will happen. But I just knew I learned this at the very early stage. And today, it is paying off. It is paying off, paying my bills, paying anything I need to do, all right? In fact, let me just give you a tip. If I want to travel to anywhere at the moment, my company sponsors this, if I want to do that at any point in time. Do you want to put yourself in a position whereby you are no longer complaining, but you are part of the people that are making decisions? I know I have contributed so much into Nigeria economy. You ask me how. I've worked with Nimsi on your identity management app. I have worked on it. I have worked with Nigerian judiciary. And this impact, don't forget, when you make all this kind of impact, you don't go home empty-handed. I hope you know that. You don't go home empty-handed become consultant to many companies and at the very end you get paid all we're talking about is these things that translate into the money back or talk about the check that we're talking about so now i have a, a, a few things um, for you that i want to talk about but before i go into that i would like to take um, some of your questions if you have questions kindly raise up your hand so i can give you permission to speak um, do this as fast as possible like i mentioned i don't want to take so much of your time all right, I'll be waiting for you. If you have questions, um, please drop them. All right, um, we have Samuel. Okay, um, Samuel, please unmute yourself. Yeah, all right, good evening, everyone. Good evening. <laughs> Yo. Um, yeah, you have talked about the um, opportunities available there. Okay. okay. Um, uh, my concern now okay. is um, we've seen in the, in recent time um, there have been um, a layoff in those in in, in 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 big organizations like um, you, we we saw it in Met, in Meta, LinkedIn. We saw it in AWS and all that, you know, and making the technology landscape more competitive it, 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 to me i think if those ones make headlines there are other smaller organizations that are doing the layoff that are not making headlines all right so it means that hmm, yes, there are that, a that, lot that, of that, 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 that that's that's going on. so so is this something that um you you think um people upcomers need to worry about Okay. 
Okay, so please confirm that you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, now um, look at look at what you are seeing on this screen. Please check the middle, check the parts of the of, of the dates. Check that date part. That date. For this first one, job opportunity as product management analyst. Please check the date. What's the date you saw there? Hello, someone, please unmute yourself. I want to, I'm trying to point out something. Okay, the, okay. the first one is so, in uh, September. Good. The second one is what? The second one is 15 August. Yeah. That's like the most important. August. Yes, yeah, so I still want to show yes. you other ones. The, sep the, this one, the next one is what? 16th of August, right? Yes. What about the next one? Uh, we have 14 August here. Good. So now, what I'm trying to point out here is that we have so many companies that are actually worth starting out, and we also have a lot of companies that are actually laying off. But when you compare this, this is just these are different offers coming to me just a few months ago. And if you look at the time of this layoff, you will tell me that it was just I think why it was loud is because Meta was the one that actually did it. And this thing happened at the very early stage of the year. Of course, companies will always want to re-strategize. So companies will come in and say, okay, we want to re-strategize. This is what we want this time around. It does not mean people are losing their job in tech. Now, look at the people that actually lost their job. They will still transit into other companies. What we are saying, when there was no tech or something, companies were actually... So it is okay... But don't forget that these are actually businesses, right? These companies, they are actually operating business. So there are still opportunities in other companies, as much as possible companies. So this, this date should actually give um, the fact that... Or just go on job, uh, job platforms like Indeed. If you go on Indeed.com, Talent.com, you will see a lot of jobs that are available that people are posting day in, day out. These are recruiters that are reaching out to me. I don't know if you know this that what the way that project was about of EY Ernest and Young. That's a UK based company. Yes. He reached out as well. So this is uh, I'm telling you these things, or I'm showing you this in form of transparency to tell you that there are lots of jobs in tech. That one company is laying off does not mean. There are, no, there are no companies that are actually what bringing in a lot of people. This is a very valid question that somebody has. You all have been talking about we entry tech. What about the people that are leaving the tech? But the person I will tell you is, who is that tech guy that you knew last year that lost his job, that did not get another job in three months? That did not get another job in less than three months. Let me use that. Let me just say that in less than three months. So as much as yeah, yeah. some companies are auto 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 card at the auto desk inventor. The fact that people are laying uh, companies are laying some other people off. Hello, Samuel. Did I answer your? Hello, question? Samuel. Did I answer your question? Yes, thank you. That's correct. All right, all right. So, do I have any other question before I move? There's something I want to share with everyone here before we uh, wrap up on this webinar. Does anybody have any other question before I move to that?
Okay, um, Israel. So let me take the second question, then we can move into what I want to share with you. So Israel, you can unmute yourself, please. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, I want to ask because. I Yeah, I can hear you. Please proceed. Hello, Israel, I can hear you. Hello, Israel, I can hear you. Please unmute yourself. You are muted. So that's why I want to ask, how can someone overcome this challenge if you are into tech? And then recently I said that a lot of online or remote jobs are restricted to some countries like UK, Canada. But if you are in Nigeria, how can you tap into it and still be functional? Thank you. Hello. How is he doing? Things okay. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the network from your end or mine, but I don't know. It keeps muting you. It keeps muting you. Israel, this keeps muting you. Please. Should I come again? Yeah, yeah. Please come again. Okay. Please. I, the, my question is in two way. I have a friend who's on a into remote job, but when I had a discussion with him, what he said that piece was that sometimes you work for some customers and to get their um, satisfaction is always hard. And after burning data and sleepless nights, you are unable to satisfy them and it's just like a wasted effort. That how can you overcome this situation? Then secondly, I noticed that most remote jobs are restricted to some countries like UK, um, Canada, and Nigeria are left behind. So what can you do to over to out um, out is it to um, outsmart this situation, current situation? Thank you. Okay, yeah, thank you for, for that. And uh, so when you talk about job boards, we mean um, Maybe you go on. Okay, first of all, what particular skill are you trying to, you know, what's what's the skill that you have? Actually, I studied mechanical engineering and I don't um just been I've been thinking where do I want to fit, but I have idea of product management and I knew that it's something that is not complete if you don't have so what I'm planning now is that I'm into copywriting before, but I want to go into product management, product design and management. And I know I need graphic design. I need um, AutoCAD and AutoDesk Inventor. And I am just saying about UI UI design, which I don't know what it's all about. So that's just it. And that's where I want to focus on now, product design and product management. OK. Yeah, okay. I think that's where the question, uh, that's where we should address it from. See, trust me, um, if you keep saying um, we there are a lot of jobs and they are treating people from some jobs, yes, it's true for some regions, all right? But it is not absolutely correct because there are also companies that are still recruiting. If you don't just know the right way or the right place to uh, to do this, this, these are evidences that I'm showing you. This is where you get all of these uh, you know, jobs from at all. It starts from number one. Do you have a global presence? I have a global presence, which is why these guys are reaching out to me. If you don't have a global presence, if you have not positioned yourself, they may not reach out to you. And there are also some places you will you will apply to some of these companies. They will not bother to check to, to, to come for you because they will have checked you online and checked some things. They really can't see something tangible around it. But now, going back into the question you asked, which is, uh, 
you don't need AutoCAD for product my or product design or product management. And as a matter of fact, yeah, you don't have to do product design and product management. It's not necessary. One is what you need. Is it that you want to become a product designer or you want to become a product manager? If you want to become a product designer, knowledge of graphics uh, and AutoCAD can be helpful or could be helpful, but it is not compulsory because they are two different things in the real sense. They are really two different things. And what they use, they use Figma, just Figma for what they do. What about uh, product management? I don't do product design, but I have a product manager and I've worked with big companies. And which is why I'm telling you that product design is not necessary. In as much as you understand the concept of wireframing, drawing user flow, writing your user stories, managing a team, in fact, and strategic planning and business orientation, you don't actually need product design to function. You don't need some engineering skills to function. So it's important for you to know that you don't actually need some things and you need to stick with one of these things. If you want to go fully into product design, it is a whole career. No company will employ you as a product designer and a product manager. Sometimes people will often say, okay, let's spread our nets so that if I don't get a job as a product designer, I'll get as a product manager. Trust me, if you go through this route, it's not going to help you. If you're a product designer, there is a lot you need to even learn as far as product management is, I mean, product design is concerned, where you cannot even start combining product management with it. If there is one of the career that you want to pick, sit down with it and know how to succeed in that field. And this is by learning the right things from the right set of people and also your network. Like I mentioned, I said there are three major things. Your skill that you're learning, the second you are learning, the second thing is uh, your portfolio. You need to have a portfolio that the evidence of what you do. And number three, we're talking about building your personal brand. All of these things are the things that is responsible for this. And you are probably wondering, like, how many years will this take me? Trust me, this journey is in phases. If I tell you that if you start today, does it mean in the next three months or next six months, you start any five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. I am lying to you. You are not going to break a bank. It's a journey that has its own process, which means you learn, then you build a portfolio, then within a year, I can tell you, you can get your first job. After getting your first job, build your portfolio around it. Before you know it, you're spending two years. Before you get within your two years, you can get the international opportunity. But before the two years, I'm sure you have been, you will have been getting other jobs. And of course, even in Nigeria, when you're talking about how much do people earn as product designers, product managers, and all of these things, we're talking about six figures. So it's still not a job that you are earning so little as far as Nigeria is concerned, even though Nigeria don't pay well. But when it comes to these skills, they don't joke with it because it's an high income skills. And the other thing I want to say is that if you don't get into this thing early, when the market gets so saturated, you will be disadvantaged because at that time, if you come in, you may not be able to build your career that fast. People like us came in early and it's helping us today. And if you still join the train at the moment, it's still going to help you because I believe that anybody that is even on this call today or that has joined the group, uh, obviously, you have interest in tech. The next thing that you're supposed to do is to pick up a career and move on with it. Like I mentioned, I do not have enough uh, time and I do not want to take much of your time, but this is what I actually want to share with you at the moment. So uh, it's just a gift from me. And I say, normally I would tell you that you can't really buy success. So I've mentioned all of these things. If you do not put yourself in the right opportunity or the right place, or if you do not put yourself on the right path, you'll not be able to get hold of this damn opportunity. So if you are looking for a get rich quick scheme or a magic bullet, if you are going to throw the opportunity right in front of you under the bus and slam it against the rock, don't waste your time for that. And please don't waste time, which is what I've explained to you. It is this is not a quick reach, I mean get quick, I mean get rich quick scheme. That's not what we're doing. Here. This is a skill. That you're supposed to learn that will develop you that will make you to be globally employed employable 
And even if you move out of the country, you can still sell this same skill. You can work from Nigeria to with any other company. If you say companies are blocking opportunities, what about me? Working from Nigeria with a company in Poland, so which is I have practical experience on the things that one needs to do. So now a real opportunity is what I am presenting to you. A real opportunity to do your work in your pajamas, I mean. There are times that <laughs> I will just be on my, you know, laptop, wake up, just start doing what, uh, doing my work and all. I'm not trying to dress up, to go have my bath, to go dress up, get into the car, look, go into the, you know, into the town or I'm going to work. You sit down in your house and you started working. A real opportunity to live the life of your dreams. I'm a kind of person that like, I really likes traveling. So for the fact that I love traveling and, uh, I was able to put myself in a position where I can do that, where all my trade expenses and everything is sponsored. So a real opportunity to work with a company of your choice. You can choose all these companies reaching out to me. I can decide to choose any of them that I want to work with. A real opportunity to spend more time with um, your friends, your relative, or your family. A real opportunity to choose who you want to work with. And here's the opportunity of a lifetime that you don't want to miss. Now, we have a score of products, so which is I'll tell you the value that you are going to actually get from coming into this institute with us. We have quite a number of people that have actually passed through this, um, which I'm probably going to like drop um, videos of their testimonials and things that they've done. But what exactly is um, what I'm presenting to you? So you can click the right um, text um, career as a beginner, which is what 60K, where you go through the lecture note materials, videos and all, how you will learn why many people fail as tech enthusiasts. Yes, you learn why people really fail. You also learn how to discover the best tech career for your, uh, based on your interests. Six months online coaching with live classes um, worth 100K. Here you will be taught from scratch any career of your choice. So, which is either you want to go into product design or even product management. You will have live sessions with your tutor. You will be taken by ends. Even if you are a novice in the tech space, which means there's a mentor, there's someone who is going to come, come with you. Don't forget, I mentioned three things, you're going to learn the skills. That's just the skill aspect. There's still part of building your portfolio and also building your global presence. Access to industry experts and career coaches, what's Andre K. One of the most interesting, because we actually bring faculties, we have faculty members and bring people to come and talk to the people we are training. So one of the most interesting thing here is that you will get access to experts in the industry with track record of success. You have quite a number of them. You speak to a product manager at Polaris Bank. You speak to people from Energy, from um, Lighthouse, and some other companies in the UK. So access to tech mobile community, and also here yeah, you'll be having access to meet other experts that are doing well in the tech industry. Access to three month consistent mentorship, what's 30K. This will not include other training. So the totality of all of these that I've mentioned is 400k. So I'm still coming somewhere now. Access to internship placement, what 100k? So now, when you are done with your training, we know that you need to build a skill. Then the next thing you need to do is you need to have a portfolio, and this can only be done through internship. So we have partners that we have that will connect you, or will connect you, so that you can have your internship with them. And having your internship with them, you will be able to gather the experience and portfolio that is necessary. Access to remote job opportunities will show you how to actually uh, uh, how to actually apply. Because if you get on any of these platforms, if you do not apply the right way, your email or your CV will keep getting bounced. There are some people who even go through the route of even building their CV uh, with ChatGPT when they put it into AI detector to just detect it and some of you say oh i will use the uh in under platform that will detect ai stuff stop deceiving yourself you are not i mean ai is not the one that will do the job it is you that want to do the job you need to actually know the right things to put as far as you're concerned as far as your work is concerned not that i don't support the use of this ai to they can guide you but you should not rely on them and build your cv with them Professional guidance worth 40K. Here you will be able to learn the secret of big men in the industry. I'm going to practically show you how to build your portfolio, how to build your global presence, how to write your resume. There's something called Achievers Resume, 
when you go into, into my resume or maybe you go online on LinkedIn, you check my platform and see all of this, is, the first thing that you're going to be seeing is more of what is the best, I mean, what is the best way or say, uh, what are the things that I have done really in the past? You can literally read it, which is Achiever's resume. So it's not just writing, I built software, I built a code, I built this, I collaborated with that's not how to write a CV. I'm going to be showing you practical ways. If you go into my LinkedIn profile, you can get a glimpse of what we're talking about. How to position yourself for bigger opportunities. You will be given a recognized certificate that you can use to apply for a job anywhere. We now pay um, 600,000 Naira to enroll for this course. No, you're not paying that. You're not even paying 300. You're not even paying 150. Because we understand that if you could pay 600,000 or 300,000 or 500,000 for your training, I don't think it's necessary for you to even say you really want to come into tech again. You'd be like, okay, I feel like you're doing well. Maybe you can just scale your income and do uh, better. But we understand all of this and we really want to become a part of people's dream. So then what exactly are you paying? Pay 75K only. So when we say come in and pay this particular amount, all right? When we say this is the amount that you're paying, we really mean it. When we say pay this amount, because we believe that when you learn this thing, you're going to be using it for yourself and we want to become a part of your success. Now, because you are a member of this community and because you are privileged to be on this call, you are still not going to be paying this. Because it is now you, you are going to be paid 60K only, but before October 12th. 60K only. With all of this thing that I have mentioned, and here is exactly what you're learning product design or product management. I know many of you still have a few questions and you don't really know, should I go ahead with this? What should I do? Uh, how should I learn this thing better? Or what's the best way in which I can learn this thing? So we're not just going to be telling you that we just come into this kind of career. You have an opportunity to schedule a call if you want to get more information about the procedure for the training, how the training is going to be. But then this is a life class. And one amazing thing that I'm going to be mentioning here is that I am going to be an amazing tutor for product design. I'm an amazing tutor for product design. I've mentored people. Uh, I've worked with the likes of Inoeka, the top business analyst in the world top eight business analysts in the world. She's in Canada and uh, I work with her. I've facilitated product management trainings with her. And I believe this qualifies me to be able to do this with you as well. And the tons of experience that I've had working with several or diverse people. And I would really love to mentor you. This is an online class and all you have to do is to, okay, so let me just, um, do some little things about the training so you'll get a um, live reco re live recording so uh when you say live recording you have the all of the classes recording to to watch from monday to friday and on saturday you have a live class and the class that you have okay so um the class that you have on friday uh, on saturday is going to help you it's going to help you to uh Ask questions. I know you have many concerns about people like, okay, we've done this in the past. I've had online trainings before. And I'll tell you why this thing did not work. All right? Because I know many of you have actually taken some of these things in the past. And results don't lie. Right? Results do not lie. Results do not lie. When I was, um, okay, before I get into that, as I was saying, um, if you get into the right career at the right time, <laughs> I know you would not be wondering if it is expensive or not expensive. If you go online, what exactly is the reward that you get? If you are supposed to commit, the training is not even 60,000. The training is more than that, but because we want to give you any bad offer, which is why we are giving you this opportunity to pay 60K. Yes, we accept instrumental payments. Now, 
I understand that the country is really very hard, but then you don't want to get into a class whereby you see uh, instructors that are not experienced, all right? And you don't want to get into that because of the quality that we put into our training. If you know you are not still sure of what to expect as far as this training is concerned, I understand your plight and I understand everything around what you're saying, but I wish it could go lower than that. I really do wish. But then if you check everywhere or check different platforms, I'm sure this, is, this should be one of the best offer that you can get for the kind of value we offer. I want to show you the last part of this. So why should you learn with us? Number one, for just the same amount that you're paying, access to paid and unpaid intention. You have trainings that you go whereby you have to figure out any other thing that you have to do. You have to figure it out yourself. So which means by the time you are done learning with us, the next thing that happens is that we put you on internship, direct one. This internship will help you to build your portfolio. Number two, we help you launch your career. We are not just telling you to come and learn this and we leave you. You have life, I mean, you have instructors that are going to be available for you from the beginning to the end. So we help you. Um, also, we have alumni who have been placed on internship with proof and evidence. I was amazed or I was happy, let me say that, of someone who started the uh, quality assurance career of, of recent, which I happen to mentor. offer for the role of a quality assurance um, personnel and if you know the kind of product this person is going to be working on like i mentioned success is not uh cheap it takes sacrifice dedication and lots of effort the country which is why we have decided to even put it at such price check uh online check other platforms i'm sure this is one of the best offers that you can ever get for what we are offering you. We are not offering you a course, but we are offering you a career opportunity. Build relevant resume and portfolio with us, then access to resources. And if you are able to do all of these things that I have mentioned, I believe that there is no how you won't be able to do this. So now, do you have a demo class or trial period class? So uh, to make um, it interesting for you, we have a uh, demo class actually which you can go online um, to pick up so uh i will put that here for you so that you can go into that but then every of the requested things is going to be uh shared into that group as well um yeah so just stay tuned while i bring that up Okay. Okay, so I'm pasting it in the comment section. Yeah, so I I vividly understand everyone. So I would I would love to uh, manage every other person's time. So if you have further questions, please drop it on that group. Please drop it on that group. Like I mentioned, success as a sacrifice and everything you need to do to be able to get into uh, into it. So um, the recording of the class or of the webinar rather is going to be dropped. Uh, on YouTube for you to watch. Please uh, do like, share, and subscribe. And also, I would love that you actually subscribe on the YouTube channel that I'm going to be dropping at the moment. Just a second, I'll put that up here. Okay.
Okay, so I'm pasting that. So for the instrumental payment, you can actually make such payment twice. So uh, whatever other question that you have, just drop your message on the group or message any, send a message to any of the admins to get um, further information about this training. And other trainings will be coming up uh, as well. But do well to subscribe on that channel because I'm going to be dropping content for you. For those of you that want to enter product management or you want to kickstart a tech career, it's important for you to subscribe so that you can get notifications uh, once I drop every video. I'm going to be dropping videos um, on Mondays and Fridays. You should check um, those videos out. It's going to help you. So you asked for the demo course, and that is why I shared the demo course with you. The, uh, the, the, the product management course that I mentioned is quite um, different. So um, just send a message to the admin. Uh, send a message to any of the admin you'll be able to get uh, further information. You asked for a demo course, which is why I shared a demo course for you. I mean, share that with you earlier. So uh, please um, do well to check um, that out. The, the course I sh shared with you is free, but the one I'm talking to you about, which is the bootcamp, it's a 16 weeks course. It's not free. It's what I already discussed with you about uh, how you're going to do that. Yeah, thank you for understanding that and i would love to take uh, your time for that and thank you for your time if you have further questions please drop it on the group and uh, yes the course is starting by 23rd so send a message to any of the admin or use the link below to schedule a call so that you can uh, have a proper interaction with you okay, have a proper interaction if you have interest in the course um thank you guys uh bye for now and do enjoy the rest of your evening